Good evening, friendo. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to Receiver 2 tonight. Uh, like last time... <coughs> like last time, uh, we're just going to push forward and uh, try to rank ourselves up here. If we do end up dying, and we will, uh, a lot, in fact. If we do end up dying <coughs> and ranking down, we're just going to use the, the handy-dandy insight sheet and rank back up immediately because, uh, you know, it's time to make some progress and not continually bang our heads on the wall or... Uh, Stuff that's outside of our control sometimes. All right, I'll get there. Da -da, da -da -da. Okay, we are ready. We are ready to go. Ready to go. We'll listen to some tapes. <laughs> hey, my girlfriend. How you doing? Good to see you. Oh, something blipped us there already. Okay, excuse me. It's just like pointed directly at us constantly, or what the hell? There we go. Where is it? That one there. Yep. There's a flyer around there somewhere, too, so... <clears throat> we have to... Be a little careful. Be a little careful with what we do. Click, 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 click. <laughs> Alright, come on, I dare you. I dare you, you piece of shit. Oh, what the... The fact that it can see me through walls sometimes is a bit troublesome. All right, where did it go? It is right up against the wall, isn't it? Yep, there it is. Well, we might be best off then uh, <clears throat> just slipping on by. Trying to anyways. That it doesn't look this away. Let's be go on by here. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Bonk. Uh oh. Uh. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> I could have tried to maybe pump another round into it, but I didn't want to waste ammo. <laughs> Alright, whatever, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, that one was a bad round anyway. Oh, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop, boop, boop. The old school Doom cheat codes work as well, really? That's fun. I'll try those later. I mean, I probably wouldn't feel comfortable with just turning on invincibility and letting it rip. Like, that's not a thing we should be doing. But... Yeah, eat shit, there we go. Uh, but we might try it just for funsies later. Oh! <laughs> okay. Um, we've learned not to step over an actively sparking drone. Very good, then. Very good. Lessons learned. Lessons learned. Lessons learned. Okay. We're serious this time. <laughs> For serious this time. Let's go. Let's go. I have been practicing a little bit off stream. And and doing doing some movement and shit, so hopefully we won't be quite so bad for the rest of this, but you know, it's a, it's a good start to get popped and then zapped right in a row, you know? Drone gone. Two drones gone. Turrets down there. Really gotta be careful with our ammo though. We've got like maybe four bullets left. Oh, 
But we really do want to probably take out as many turrets as we can just to get their ammo, honestly. <clears throat> yep, this is the this is the Desert Eagle right here. It's got quite a bit of pop to it. <clears throat> if we do ma manage to land a hit with it, it's almost certainly good night to whatever we do end up hitting. Which is good. Play that one a little bit fast and loose. I didn't want to waste a bullet on it. This one too. Two more free bullets there. I know there's one more flying around, but I think it's kind of <clears throat> on the higher floors there, so we shouldn't have to worry too much about it. Oh, never mind. Here it is. Definitely evade this thing for as long as we need to. Oh shit! But not that thing! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. We uh, took a glancing blow from that turret as we sprinted on by. Didn't even see it. Where the fuck? Oh man, it's right there. Okay. That's all right. We got through. Minimal wasted ammo. No tapes to show for it, of course, but hey. Can't win them all. That thing's just moving around on its own. Just let it do its... Let it do its patrol. It's not bothering us, we won't bother it. It's a very awkward place for that thing to be, considering. Uh, there's something else in there too, huh? Woo! Spicy. Jeez. My aim is just that bad. I just rush in there. There. I know there's another drone or something in there. Yep, it's cycling around outside. There's a second turret on the ceiling too, huh? <clears throat> oh. Okay, this one we might be able to get up the stairs. And next to it. Fuck. And the drone's going wild too. Okay, when it's outside, we should be good. <clears throat> okay. Damn. 
Oh, we disabled that thing altogether. Ooh, shit. I don't know that we're going to be able to get the ammo out of that one. This one, though. Mm, shit. That's going to see us. Is it going to pop in? <clears throat> oh, fuck. Whoop. Mm. Oh, fuck. There. Oh, I did get a bullet out of that one. Good. Whew, whew. All right. <clears throat> Making me work for it. Making me work for it. Of course, if we were smart, we could have just dialed up around that way. <clears throat> what is this thing? It's singing out to me. There it's. A thought is not just an idea, but also a way of thinking that idea. It can have different qualities, of heavy, smooth, and cold like a firearm, or buoyant, ephemeral, and warm like a balloon. It's a lot of work just for that After one take. mind kill, when things seem at their most hopeless, oh, remember that there are other receivers out there. These thoughts will raise you up and keep you afloat. If you can train your mind to not get weighed down in the face of adversity, it can help you survive the mind. <laughs> now, as strange as it sounds, we've received transmissions indicating that some receivers have dreamed mm. balloons into existence, containing helpful items. Shit. There. These receivers have usually achieved the highest mm. levels of mental strength, maintaining a certain lightness of thought, even when facing the end of their reality's timeline. Shit, there's a drone over there, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> the beep. Okay. Bop! Oh, fuck. Hit the wrong button. I didn't have the safety on. Oops. Oops, after all that, and I end up popping myself. Good job. Good job. Good job, good job. Fuck. <laughs> oh good, they give me a revolver. How very generous of them. Okay, it's fine. See, it's fine. No problem. I have noticed that uh, when we advance to this spot, sometimes they will give you a revolver, not just with blocked chambers, but with already spent bullets in it, which really sucks. So that's why I emptied it all out at the beginning there. There we go. It's a good sign. Block that side off, jerks. Ooh. 
Ooh. Okay, it's a turret. Turrets are fine. Turrets we can kind of deal with. And we get more ammo from them, so... I'm cool with that. start giving us a gross of drones that it becomes a problem. Knock it out entirely. Oh, yeah. yeah, we did. Nice. You are finally prepared <laughs> finally to prepared. hear this message. To hear this message. You see reality painted in shades of black. But beyond your world is another, bathed mm. in radiant light. That's a mean place for that. We have reached that. out to you with a warning. If you are able to hear our message, you are one of the few that we can help. I don't know if it would have enough receivers. of a beat on me down here to... The receiver who is speaking these words was chosen because he is able to hear I'm gonna us get right with below exceptional it. clarity. Oh, shit. With <laughs> detect, but time okay, there's a second drone somewhere as well. There is there. a threat to everyone on your planet, and they have been weakening <laughs> your mind through your media, lowering okay, your I think I hit the, uh, defenses. Yeah, I hit the ammo box on it, so it's no longer a threat. The coming attack is unavoidable. All we can do is prepare. Oh, that's the drone from before. I was like, uh, what the hell else has got a beat on me there? Whoop. Oh, oh, nope. all six. Wasn't even counting. That was all six. This tape There's is two. designed to test your focus in the face mm -hmm. of distraction. <laughs> Maintain focus on your breathing. How did you do? If your attention wandered, that is normal. Just notice that without judgment. Let's try again. Good job. Get a beat on it from without. There. I know there's a turret around the bend here, although that one might not be active yet. Good. very quietly so not to wake it up excellent
Oh, they do let me slip through there, but I think that just leads to nowhere. Okay. What about down below? Is that one blocked off too? <clears throat> no, it looks like we're clear here. It's all right, I can be patient. I can be patient. Okay. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, that's not great. Two of them and a drone. <clears throat> all right. Oh boy, excuse me. All right, best I can probably do is rush for that dumpster, see if I can take out the drone. Fuck, 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 fuck. I got distracted by the second drone on the far side. That was on me. That was on me. Ugh. thing. manifest things in this reality to help us. Possible for Steve to repair the world once they learn to do the same. You just need to learn to see the world as it is. What a wonderful thought. corner both of which are kind of out of range okay oh two drones um Okay, I was about to say, how are you not just totally out of control? Eat shit, idiot. <laughs> Alright, that one's no longer a threat. instead of knocking him out. There we go. There's a second one up there somewhere. I had a turret on the far side. Where was the turret? Oh, is it behind the vent? Yeah, it's behind the vent. Okay, that's an easy position to get to. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure I didn't dash off that thing. <laughs> but whatever, here we are.
two bullets. Oh, it's blocked off. I uh, think we can get up and around here. Need to be a little bit clever. Ooh, too high to jump up there. Mm -hmm. No, can't get through there. I mean, I could. a bad idea. Oh no, we can uh, drop down here, I think. Very carefully. There we go. Statistically, most people killed by guns use them on themselves. Uh, this is because of the threat. This sounds a little bit targets shady. For, just in case. For their strongest mental <laughs> just in case. They apply their full direct power to, to crush your spirit and control your mind, and can even take direct control of your body for, for several seconds. It is ironic, but the only way to defend yourself against this attack is, is to be unarmed until it passes, and then rearm yourself and resume your training. Mm -hmm. Every true receiver has experienced Like this. so, just in case. All right, false alarm, but better to be safe. Better to be safe. Woo! I at least smoked that other fucker over there. Sure did. Oh, he's on the top. Oh, that's mean. On the top of that awning and the inside. He still drew a beat on me. That's... That's cruel. You piece of shit. <laughs> But it also means we've got a good beat on him. I don't think we. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I thought I saw something on top of here. I guess not. When executing a partial reload, it's vital to know which direction your revolver cylinder rotates. If it's made by Colt, it rotates clockwise. Otherwise, it rotates counterclockwise. If you want the gun to go bang next time you pull the trigger, there better be a cartridge under the hammer after one rotation. up there too. Is there a turret on this side we didn't see before? Ooh, sure is. Boof. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> We've got three bullets left. Mm, that's not good.
above. Fuck beep there. What what's beeping? Oh, that guy over there. Mm. <coughs> mm. <laughs> okay. Back it up. Tag it through the glass, will they? Damn. <laughs> <clears throat> well, the option is to catch this dude's attention, wait for him to bust through the glass, and then off this fucker. I don't know if I want to risk that, though. choice. <laughs> Might not have a choice. Excuse me. Okay. okay. Which window did he blast open here? This one here, perfect. Okay, here's second one, must be second floor. Listening There's to this three. Thing, it means you have survived the mind kill. Previous attempts to listen to this tape would have found it blank, but now it contains immediate instructions of your difficult path forward. This is the time that we have prepared for. Take a moment now to find your firearm. Some of you will be familiar with firearms from our training camp, but more recent receivers will have focused on mind tech in order to survive the mind kill event. Uh, in either case, please uh, take a moment to confirm that the firearm you have been issued is in working order and has one full magazine. <laughs> working you have order, also yes. Been issued, uh, one full magazine, tape deck no. With headphones and two double. Oh batteries. well, hey, look at this. Once you have checked your equipment, leave the we did cell. It. Keep moving <laughs> and be careful. The threat. Oh, just in time for PowerPoint mode to kick in. <laughs> All right. When executing a partial reload, it's vital to know which direction your revolver cylinder rotates. If it's made by Colt, it rotates clockwise. Otherwise, it rotates counterclockwise. If you want the gun to go bang next time you pull the trigger, Whew. there better be a cartridge okay. with a hammer after one rotation. Liminal, huh? What does that get us? P226, huh? Alright, well, that's good, I guess. 
Um, but we will have to restart this because PowerPoint mode is kicking in. That's all right. That's right. It's about 40 minutes in. A little bit sooner than 40 minutes, in fact. But uh, we did what we could. So hooray, we did it. We ranked up once. <laughs> ranked up once. We got a new gun. Uh, hopefully we still only need to find four tapes. Because they are... Uh, very few and far between now. Except for that last bit where we found two in the same area. That was very generous of them. Alright, so do we have... I think we have a safety, right? Okay, yeah, we've got a safety. Hmm, although... Oh. Okay, the safety is just a hammer decocker. Alright. That's less than I would have wanted, but okay. Kind of like the Beretta without an actual safety on it. Hmm. Ooh. Oh shit, now the city's on fire. <laughs> Find one of these windows that we can bust through. Come on. Ugh. Am I going to have to shoot it out? Or can we use the front windows here? There we go. Ooh, yeah. Now part of the city's on fire. That's not a good sign. Hmm. Very ominous. Got an armored turret, huh? Oh, good. <laughs> Particularly tough opponent. Oh, great. As if my aim isn't bad enough. Front armor is completely impenetrable by most pistol rounds. You can either try for a very difficult shot through its vision slit in its shield, or approach it from behind where it's more lightly armored. In rare cases, your best chance might even be to fire at it through a thin wall. Are you kidding? No. <laughs> Excuse me. <sighs> Post mine kill environment, you'll find yourself the weapon that fires ammunition able to penetrate this enemy's armor. Well, maybe the maybe the Deagle, but certainly not the Sig Sauer. Oof. Alright, well. What the hell was it? Is it ceiling mounted? No, no, it's on the far side there. Well, we could probably, probably get behind it. There we go. The vast majority of shootings take place in low light conditions. So if you have a gun, you should also have a light. Uh, now that first, a you need to identify your target to be sure that there's an imminent deadly threat. Second, you can use it as a weapon in its own right. A proper self-defense flashlight me one is round bright for enough it. to Thanks temporarily blind a human attacker, which can go far in convincing them to surrender or leave. This, however, will not work on a kill drone. The flashlight is a great tool that has many uses, but it is only as good as the operator wielding it. When using a flashlight in hostile environments, mm -hmm. make sure you use it appropriately. And remember, using it lights you up like a Christmas tree and will help your enemy <laughs> as much as you if you're not careful. So with this in mind, use your flashlight sparingly. Turn it on briefly, uh, scan your surroundings, turn it off and move so your enemy can't zone in on your location. Make this a habit and your flashlight will save you time and again when you find yourself in a tight spot. 
Okay. Okay, no problem. One out of four. Easy peasy. The opposite side of the wall, and we got a different sleepy turret there. on the edge of something much greater. Under ideal circumstances, it is now possible that you could survive the mind kill. When the mind kill happens, conditions will not be ideal. <laughs> Similar to the training hilarious. with firearms, your mental defenses need hilarious. to become second nature. Moving smoothly and acting with purpose towards your goals, rather than stumbling, reactive, and be a third tape in here? I thought I heard something else singing that before we got that one. It will allow you to achieve the next stage of awareness. The heavy eyelid of your mind's eye flickers. Soon you will awaken. Yeah, hopefully I'll awaken without a bullet in my head. There we go. <laughs> It's wrong. It's like you got no ammo to shoot me with, idiot. Yeah. How do you like that? How do you fucking like that? <laughs> Oof. Hey, Jamesy. How you doing? Let's see ya. Uh, it's it's a little bit of a spooky game. Yeah. It's a, it's a bit bit of a spook sometimes. There is a third one somewhere. What are they doing? Why are they packing these so close together for me this time? The Navy SEALs were the first to notice a small problem with their new Beretta M9 pistols. Sometimes the slide would uh, explode in their faces. Uh, this first occurred on a mission in <laughs> while they were uh, re <laughs> nice. resulting in minor injuries. After two more incidents like that, the teams had had enough. They didn't mind the cool scars, but they only transition to sidearms when plans A, B, C, and D have already failed, and the last thing they need at that point is more problems. When the SEALs ask for something, it's generally wise to say yes, so they were promptly issued a replacement, the Sig Sauer P226. There aren't that many frogmen, so this was a tiny contract for Sig Sauer, but a huge marketing opportunity. The 226 now had a reputation as a high-end pistol suitable for elite forces around the world, including the British SAS and Israeli Sayeret, and that led to widespread mm. adoption by law enforcement and civilians. SIG even started selling civilians Mother. the custom model that they made for the SEALs. What the hell? Mark 25, which includes extra oh, Jesus. water resistance and the Navy anchor symbol on the slide. Fuck! Not included. Okay, so clearly they didn't expect me to take that little side path if they just fucking loaded in the zone as soon as I stepped in. Jesus. Alright. Make sure we got... Oh, okay. Wait for it. There's a drone and a turret there, so let's just be careful. There's now a drone. Shit 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 damn it Oh fuck Well we ain't gonna stand for that demotion at the very least we, we've earned it. We've we've earned that rank, and we're not giving it up that easily. <laughs> you aimed on size your screen locks, and you move the gun around the lock screen. Yep, yep, that's about how it works. Yeah. 
you can move oh god weird graphical glitches you can move very slightly as you're aiming if I go like if I well like I can still move around and look right but it's mostly confined to this kind of center zone okay all right well that kind of stinks I kind of like the sig sour there but I guess we gotta earn it. We gotta earn it by not running around like a damn fool. We were really up a creek with what? Two turrets and two drones? Or maybe just two turrets and a drone or something? I don't know. That was really a... That was really very not good. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. Okay. Excuse me. Just try it. Let him go that time. Oh! Second turret over there, too. Oh, or is that a drone? That's a drone. Okay, there's a drone outside. There's a turret on the ceiling up to the left. Could in th theory probably just get under that sucker. Like so. Yeah, no longer a problem. <laughs> that window's solid. <laughs> Yep, pretty solid. Alright, that guy's just fucking around. We can probably get him from outside. Oh, well. Or maybe we can get him to come to us. Okay. Oh, when was there a drone in there? Didn't we just come from there? Oh, crap. One. Okay, the second one's right around the corner, isn't he? Oh no, he's back there yet. Oh, because my plan was to go. Oh, okay, can we still do this? Yeah, we can. Barely squeeze our butts up there. Oh, sh shit. Okay, down and out. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, scary. There's one up there, too. Oof. Oh! Oh, God, that scared me. Okay. Oh, we could have gone around that side, too. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. Ouch! Oh, damn it! <laughs> Should have put the safety on. Oops. Oopsie doopsie. All right. Well, we get one freebie, and then it's curtains. So just be careful. Saw a flash of purple up there. Yeah, okay. There's only the one. If there's only the one, then we're probably fine. No, it didn't misfire. I, uh. 
I whipped it out of the holster too quickly and the safety was off. So I shot myself. It's very dangerous. You gotta be more careful. <laughs> gotta be very careful. Because bad things happen. under him closely enough to just disable him without firing a shot. Mm, nope. Nope. Alright then. the best I took out that turret then because <clears throat> I would have wandered right back in here and just taken one in the rear probably he's rotating too fast <laughs> second one higher up but we might be able to get away without it hitting us Making stronger windows. Can't just crash into it. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, I winged them. Or is there two of them now? Shit. Shit. Is it, only, is it only the one? No, there was two beeps. Alright.
That was scary. A little scary. This tape is designed to test your focus in the face of distraction. Maintain focus on your breathing. How did you do? If your attention wandered, that is normal. Just notice that without judgment. Let's try again. Good job. Where's that thing? See the light. <clears throat> See the light that it's scanning around, but where the fuck actually is he? Jesus, there's two more over there. Okay. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. <laughs> it's full already. Nice. need to go up there like that, so let's go through here. <laughs> I think I see a turret up there, and then one of those drones is floating around on the left. Yeah, there's one there. One outside the window there. Getting too dangerous. Leaving these dudes alive. There's one. Security cameras, excuse me? <coughs> Not a direct hazard. Security cameras can inform the threat of your location. They quietly scan their environments looking for signs of activity. When they spot an intruder, they raise an alarm. Oh, great. Well, that could be a small issue. Fuck. Okay, so those aren't turrets, but they're just cameras. That stinks. They do take a moment to activate, so that's something. know how much of a threat they're going to be with nothing around to back them up, but I do have plenty of ammo to take them out. Well, I do want to double back this way, because there might be something. Barely so. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Come on, fucker. Oh, 
and see which way he was rotating. Uh, uh oh. Okay. Oh no. Gorgeous! Oh no. Uh, uh. <laughs> nope. Fuck. Oh, God. All right. Exactly how I wanted that to go. Oh, shit, that was a turret. Ah! <laughs> uh, damn it. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> Man, I was so careful. I was so careful, and I still got popped. Okay. You guys have our favorite death rattles. Oh boy. Uh, hmm. Well, <clears throat> in an ideal situation, you never hear your death rattle, right? But, hmm. Would have had some good ones. Oh, one that I can think of, actually, right off the bat. Return to Castle Wolfenstein had some pretty good ones. Like, it was just like a, a nice, meaty. <laughs> It just sticks in my mind. It was pretty good. If we want to go more classic, like any of the uh, any of the Final Fight series, uh, enemy death noises are pretty good too. Like they're so campy and silly, but it's pretty funny. Exactly how they should be. Oh boy, a little bit too far there. Ceiling turret. Oh, that was not the one that saw me before. Aha! There's one on the ground, too. Oh, you crafty bitches. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you can just barely see me. Okay. Oh, boy. This is gonna be a, gonna be a rough go of things, I think. But... Ah! I was going for the Behind the elevator, I couldn't quite make it. Womp. Damn it. <laughs> okay, back to the Sig Center. Very good. Briefest amount of time with us before we uh, eat shit that one time, right? Whew. Okay. quieter than usual or uh, or was I just an idiot I mean obviously I'm just an idiot but I feel like that dude was quieter than most drones and I feel like that wasn't fair
One of the most common pistol malfunctions is known as the stovepipe or failure to eject, uh, so-called because it looks like a stovepipe is sticking out of the side of the gun. This usually happens when the shooter is not holding the weapon firmly enough to provide a stable shooting platform. This is called limp wristing and is a common trait of non-1911 owners. Like most malfunctions, this can be cleared with the tap rack bang drill. Just smack the base of the magazine hard, rack the slide back and release, and bang, shoot the target. Even though it's already, already a non-issue, may as well, so the sound doesn't scare me. Mm. Ooh. Look at that motherfucker over there. I suppose I can just barely reach across that gap, can I? Ooh, oh. Of course not. Okay, that's fine. Just have to be careful. I reach up and over. Locked off. Hmm. Hmm. Just barely make our way up. Oof. Um, shit, 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 shit. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> uh, rolled my ankle on the landing and then pop pop. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. <clears throat> Coming up on second PowerPoint mode, though, so let's just be aware of that. Couple minutes, three, four minutes, maybe.
in the vent. Oh, you cheeky fucker. Fuck, why did that just rocket me forward? Oh, there's a fucking ceiling turret and a normal turret up there. Are you kidding me? Can I reach either of them like this? Oh, this is so, so dangerous. Oh, I can. <laughs> Just barely. Oh. Oh. So frightening. Okay. <sighs> okay, what about you, skinny? Oh, just barely. Really stretching on my tippy toes for this one. <sighs> okay. Cheeky. off too. Bastards. Wait, can I get up and inside that thing? Like that. Hmm. Hmm. No, well, guess not. Well, son of a bitch. Alright. Go around. Although. Go around this way first. Oh, now PowerPoint mode's starting up. Alright, this is hard enough even at full frame rate, so we're gonna do a quickie restart. Yep, yeah, that was, uh, again, very close to 40 minutes. <clears throat> you gotta think, it's like some garbage collection or object destruction or something that's not happening when it should. Okay, did save precisely my position. Very good. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, we were wide open there. There was no place to go. I would have gotten popped regardless. Damn it. Of course, I could have tried to quickly pop him first, but that would have been a hell of a shot. Check. They're not going to be cheeky and pop a tape right where we are. Yeah, we probably would have heard it sing out to us if that was the case. Alright. Yep. Okay. Anybody 
Somebody else is going to try to pop me when I go over to get this guy. Oh, looks like we're clear. America had its first conflict with radical Islamic insurgents in the Philippines in 1899, when they politely asked the Moro people to stop <laughs> enslaving Christians. U.S. soldiers were used to fighting enemies who would surrender when shot, or at least make some attempt at self-preservation. The Moro swordsmen over on the were other side different. Too. 38 caliber bullets didn't seem to stop them at all. Think, right? If yep. anything, sure they just Ooh. made them even holier. Mm -hmm. Soldiers favor the direct approach, so they asked for bigger bullets. But how big fuck, fuck, exactly? fuck, 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 damn it! Ah, I went too far! <laughs> Should have stopped at that corner pillar. Mm. Damn, those sleepy sons of bitches. Always get me. Always get me. My eye just kind of goes right past him. It's not lit up like a Christmas tree. <sighs> Alright, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. No problem. That's true. I probably would have given myself a brand new leg hole eventually, right? That was a turret at first. There must be one across the way yet. I hear something. It must be just immediately down below or something. Mm, yep. Okay, well, if we double back, let's remember it. Fuck, fuck. Fuck. Caught me looking on that one. Hmm. Gun safety features are controversial because there is always a trade-off. Now, a safety switch can keep you from literally shooting yourself in the foot, but what if you forget to turn it off when you need to defend yourself? Situational awareness, that's what. A round in the chamber <laughs> oh, shit. prevents any kind of unintentional discharge, but what if you're ambushed by ninjas and can't back the slide in time? A magazine safety can protect a novice who thinks guns aren't loaded if the magwell is empty, but could get a special forces operator killed if an enemy surprises them during a tactical reload. Even internal firing pin and drop safeties add more components that could potentially fail. The double action trigger can safety be first. a good compromise. Safety first. The first trigger pull requires enough force to pull back the hammer, so it's less likely to go off by accident, but doesn't add another action that the user might forget under pressure. It does make the first shot harder to aim without sufficient training, but if you have enough time for precision aiming, you probably have enough time to manually cover the hammer. That was the thought process behind the Sig Sauer P226 trigger design. Giving me too many drones and not enough turrets. Oh. Damn. Okay. Looks like there's a. Oh no, that's one of the drones I shot down before. Oh, 
wasn't fully chambered. Damn it. It's like, what the hell? Oh, crap. Duh, crap. Alright. Alright, buddy. Showdown. High noon. You and me. I win. <laughs> Oof. drones I shot before. Fuck. There's a turret somewhere. Didn't immediately see where it was. side too. And a regular turret there. Oh, good golly. Mm, doesn't matter. <laughs> ah, fuck. Damn. <laughs> it's okay. We're, we're 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 getting very slightly better, I think. Just very very slightly. Remembering the safety. Checking our weapon. What was I saying about remembering the safety? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Fuck. Uh, I wish I had worse comedic timing. I really do. I really do. I really, really do. Oh good, now they, they punish me with a snub nose then. I guess I deserve this. Snub nose with one block chamber. Even better. <sighs> it's okay. Watch. We'll we'll carry this through to the, the very end. Maybe this will give me a, a slightly better weapon, right? Okay, Beretta I can deal with. It's one of the slightly less... Oh, no, no, it's one of the safer ones, actually. Remember what the safety's on.
imagining things, or is that something singing out to me? I think I'm imagining things. When they sl slowly dial up the ambient music here, it makes me start thinking there's a tape nearby. Oh, like this one. If your <laughs> gun gets jammed so badly that you can't even pull the trigger or, or move the slide into battery, you might have a double feed. This happens when the extractor fails to remove the spent cartridge from the chamber at all, and the next round is jammed up against it. You need to manually press the slide back to take pressure off the jam, and then pull the magazine out hard. Now bear in mind, the first time you do this, it may be a lot more difficult physically than you expect, so don't be shy. The gun can take it. Then rack the slide at least three times to make sure the stuck casing is removed and the jam is cleared, then reinsert the magazine and the tap rack bag. mean beep oh jesus oh oh fuck oh good corner and two drones Second one. Must have given up a little bit earlier. Oh, good gravy. Okay. Scared me the most was that turret from out of nowhere. I couldn't exactly see where it was from. Is it that over there? Jeez. Oh, it's the dead end anyway. It's great. It's been all the way the fuck over there. Well, at least it put a hole in that window for me. And that one. While waiting for the other branches to agree on the requirements for the new M9 pistol, the Air Force decided to conduct their own trial and decided on the Beretta 92. Uh, all done, right? Wrong. The Army rejected the Air Force testing, claiming the Flyboys had no idea how to properly test reliability in mud and sand. The Army was perfectly happy with their 1911s, so when they conducted their own trials, they found that none of the new pistols were good enough, and tried to shut the whole program down. The Air Force still wanted their new pistols, and got the DoD to force the Army to conduct yet another test, and choose something. After further testing, the Army reluctantly admitted that the Beretta 92 and the Sig Sauer 226 might be adequate. Now, the SIG scored better, but Beretta named a lower price and won the contract. After seven years and millions of taxpayer dollars, the U.S. finally got its new service pistol, the Beretta M9. The U.S. also got three more years of congressional investigations to determine how we really? managed to screw this whole thing. Okay, good. <laughs> it's like, please. 
Put two rounds in him, he's still flying. Piece of shit. All for the fat lot of nothing there. Great. Hmm. Look at you. The Beretta M9 was born to be a movie star. When filmmakers saw its Italian curve, <laughs> iconic open slide, high capacity, and large screen presence, they started casting it in every action movie. It plays a lead role in films like um, Die Hard, uh, The Matrix, Lethal Weapon, Terminator, and even Sharknado. Oh, even Sharknado, amazing. When a film or TV director asks for a gun without giving any further instruction, the prop department will probably hand them a Beretta M9. Despite its perfect score on the silver screen, it has some mixed reviews in the field. Many complain that they accidentally flip the slide-mounted safety switch when racking the slide, or have trouble wrapping their hands around the thick grip. Ick. There was also a little Shit. problem with the off-brand magazines that the army provided in Iraq. Turns out, they didn't mix well with sand. Uh, but despite its that? quirks, thousands of soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines of a pistol and find on the other that side it gets the job Great. done. Uh, most of the time. One on the fucking floor, there's one on the ceiling. Ugh. Well, I'm gonna get some bullets out of this, so we may as well pop a few. Nuts! I got one. The other one drew a bead too quickly. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuckity fuck, fuck, fuck. Right. It's okay. It's okay. Quietly singing out to me. Just be in the far corner. Or there. All semi automatic firearms have a chamber at the start of the barrel where they ready the next round. You can use this space to load one more shot than you might expect. Uh, for example, the 1911 magazine normally only holds seven rounds, but if you insert it into the gun, rack the slide to load a round into the chamber, and then top off the magazine, now you can fire eight rounds before going dry. Or if you remove the magazine, you can still fire one shot. Novice shooters sometimes mm -hmm. assume a gun is safe just because no magazine is fitted, with tragic results. 
Beware this technique, Ooh, as not the other all guns are equal, too. and some do not like to cycle on a full magazine. Fuck, it's the second one. Ah, uh, it's on the top there. You bastard. <laughs> Shit. Oh, there's one over the other side, too. Oh, Oops. Crossfire. Alright. The fuck was that? There. Jeez. First things first. Care one threat. This is my oh, last will and no. testament. No, it is not. I leave my oof, car to Claire. Oof, oof, oof. It has the service light on, but it runs okay. I hope it helps you more than I ever did. Whatever's uh, left in my bank account can go to my dad. He can decide what to do with it. Um, Make sure that's empty. Okay. To whoever finds this, uh, just put my body in the trash. It's where I belong. Ooh, look away for this. Now, it's just a matter of that ceiling turret over there. And some other... What the fuck did that drone come from? Balls. Okay. Oof. Ammo left. Oh, you spotted my head, but he took out my legs. What a shit. What a shit. All that. After all that, and oh, good! Fucking spawned me immediately in visual range of this. Shit! Uh, don't know if I have a round chambered. I do? Okay. Fuck! <laughs> Come on, that wasn't fair! <laughs> Oh, you bitch. Ah, oh, come on. I couldn't even check my weapon. I had to be on fucking alert there.
Um. Okay. Cool. Didn't give me a little prompt to do a little bzz bzz thing. That one didn't feel fair either. Hey, come on now, usually we're pretty good about being slower with this one, right? Just in case. But you're you're right, we're almost certainly gonna put a few new holes in our leg with this one. Almost certainly. Ooh, they put the ceiling turret in the residential room. That doesn't seem very fun. be on the opposite side of the wall, but where the heck? Mm. Oh, and there's no way back in. Opposite side. A thought is not just an idea, but also a way of thinking that idea. It can have different qualities <laughs> smooth and cold, like a firearm, or buoyant, ephemeral, and warm, like a balloon. After the mind kill, what? Come on, he had like a fucking quarter inch to see me there. It was bullshit. It was bullshit. Oh, there enough space to just kind of huddle underneath? I'm gonna find out. Oh, that is a tight squeeze.
Hmm. This motherfucker. Armored ass motherfucker. Sig Sauer P226 is as neutral as the country that designed it, combining the best design ideas of pistols from both sides of World War II. Swiss mechanical engineer Charles nice Petter studied Browning's Ooh, 1911 design. Bad place to jump out to, though. Found a way to simplify it in a way that <laughs> improved accuracy and reliability Whoa. while reducing hmm. manufacturing cost. Second thoughts. Sig Second thoughts. Was impressed by this design and bought his patent in 1937 to use in the SIG P-10. <laughs> Around the same time, Sauer was working on their first pistol for Nazi officers, the double-action Sauer 38H, which was the first pistol to ever include a decocking lever. When SIG merged with Sauer, they combined the browning petter firing system from the SIG P-210 with the decocking lever and double action trigger of the Sauer 38H to create the Sig Sauer P220, a modern single stack 45 that won over many fans of the old 1911. When the Americans sent out the call for the XM9 trials, it was fairly simple to switch out the single stack 45 magazine for a double stack 9mm. armored. Yep. Okay. It takes all of your mental strength to dream your firearm into existence after the mind kill. If your mind is not functioning at 100% capacity, your weapon may not be quite right. Um, magazines can be partially disabled, revolver cylinders blocked, uh, internal <coughs> parts slightly misaligned. Take nothing for granted. Wait, the cylinder blocks are because of my dip-ass mind? I thought that was the threat doing its thing to stop us. Oh, well, that's a twist. We've got two full mags. Get rid of that gimpy one. Yeah, okay. That's better. Somehow get down there. Ah! Can't get down there this way. Um. Slip around. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, actually, this is good. This is good. Pop up. Right behind this sleepy motherfucker. Oh. Physicists shit, agree oh, shit, that the universe shit, 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 is widely shit, 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 by the forces of uh, dark energy. Mm. Okay. But only okay. the universe understands okay. what dark energy okay. truly uh, is. Just as okay. the divides us from ourselves by prying open every crack it can find. Woo! Okay. Crack <laughs> in and, and every crack it Okay. In the Hopefully itself, that fucker's it way out of range. From other civilizations by using its dark energy to pry open the very fabric of space and time. We, 
We have no idea how the threat is doing this, let alone how to stop it. All we can do is prepare for the mind to <laughs> as best we can. Frightening. Okay, three out of four. Well, we're coming up on another PowerPoint here soon, though, so... armored. Oh boy. something else around somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where. Down below. Or is that just the... Uh... Oh, that's one of the drones I disabled. Okay, good. Oh, boy. Sing out to me. Sing out to me, please. Give me a hint. Give me a hint of where you are. <sighs> Dead end. Balls! She fuck! Okay, um... There's another one I didn't see. Jeez. Where in the fuck? Ceiling mounted. Just down below. 
Nope. Oh, yeah, here's PowerPoint mode. Well, I'm not going to risk this on PowerPoint mode. Hell no. <laughs> okay, it was a little bit later this time, surprisingly. It's a little bit later. Good thing it didn't uh, happen whilst we were shitting our pants from getting eyeballed by that fucker right there. <sighs> <sighs> Camera, but it's gonna fucking out me. Oh god. Okay. Need to take out that drone before I mess with this fucker, because he's gonna sound the alarm and then that drone will be all over me. I was waiting for him to brain himself on the wall there. Still one up there, I think, though. Turret up there too. Yeah. I think he would have a bead on me if I let him. Maybe not though. Hard to tell. kind of floating around. Across the way. That's the one that woke up. I think that one's armored too. There he is. Put him out of his misery.
bad time to have a gun jam. Oh, I, uh... sequence do I do with this? now. Okay, we're good. Ooh, that was a bit scary. All right, all we have is that dude over in the corner now. Which we will hopefully be disposing of shortly. And they've got to give us a tape eventually, right? <laughs> My goodness. It's kind of a dry spell here. Hey, Gavlo, how you doing? Good to see you. It's just over there. Now. We can. I'm sure there's nothing else around. We can pop out and go get them. Oh, there's a second one, you little bitch. Oh, you little bitch. <sighs> okay. Good gravy, I did not need that heart attack. Thankfully, that one's no longer... Shoe, Jesus Christ, please don't fucking thank you. Oh, goodness. That was frightening. More frightening than it needed to be. Sing out to me. Sing out to me, tapes. Let's go. Just need one more. Oh, oh. Okay. Let's see one down there. Okay. Drone floating around down there too, somewhere. Can't tell where. Oh, there's another turret. It's on the center stack. Okay, and there's the drone on the second tier down. Okay, drone is no longer an issue. Oh. Woo! Shit! That was a little close. Okay. Okay, I think that's the down drone. It's popping that one. Yeah, okay. Plus, there's something on the ceiling over there. I don't know if it's camera or, or turret. That looks like turret. That could be a problem. Uh, hmm. Can we get... Can we get a beat on this motherfucker down there? It's obscured by the damn... He can already... He can see me from that angle. Two bullet holes to that effect. What can I do here? Maybe barrel? That barrel over there? Oh, 
Oh, jeez. too late. I heard him reloading. I was thinking, all right, that was my chance. <sighs> I tried. I really tried to get through there. Uh. Fuckity fuck, fuck, fuck. It's okay. It's all right. Just get four more. That's okay. We can do that. There's one up there too, huh? one behind this section too. Fuck! Alright, I don't know if I agree with that shot. That seemed like it went through the wall. It's a very sturdy brick wall. Good a revolver. At least it's fully formed. Exactly, take that fucker out just in case. Oh, that was silly. When a turret, oh, oh my god! When a turret first sees us, it needs to load around into its chamber before it starts firing. So we have like a, a partial second to get ourselves the safety. Message. I'm guessing that's what happened there. Interfered with our perception, and it is only now that we have realized that you are in reality. Despite this significant setback. We believe that perhaps your ability to hear us at this great distance shows your unique potential. Once you reach a higher level of clarity, we will be able to reach you more easily. You must be resilient. Okay, that works. Yeah, so if if we manage to take out the ammo loader of a turret before it loads its first round, it's effectively harmless to us. Sometimes the ammo loader is a bit of an easier target to hit than the camera or anything else. Especially if its rear is facing us. These areas are always the most dangerous because there's so many overhangs that turrets can hang off of. And they've usually got one or two drones. Looks 
like they've got a normal turret down there as well. Mm. Okay. Well, this is going to be a bit troublesome. Well, hello. <laughs> Hard to fly after me with no attitude control, huh? Bitch. Okay, now there's one almost immediately below me. I thought I saw one over there as well. Come on, fucker. Oh yeah, there he is. I don't know that I can shoot through the the mesh here. I don't know if I want to try it out. Try to get a better angle on it. It's just kind of sitting there like an asshole. Alright. There. Oh, that's a ceiling turret right there, too. Oh, good gravy. Okay. You know what? That's fine. Make that a non-issue. I think that got the... Yeah, it did. So now, even if it spots me, it won't be able to fire. Good. Shot. Wow. Should be all of them, I think, right? all six rounds too. Nice. Good timing. thing at a time. A lot of work for no tapes.
Hmm. Shit. Yep. Now that one's got one loaded in it. Luckily, take out the camera. No problem. Outside. Okay. That shouldn't be an issue. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Not dealing with that. Turret over there. Remember if that one had one loaded in it or not. Guess not. This didn't fire at me. Okay, good. I've got kind of a bump position here. Fuck that tape is. What the hell? Fuck are you? For the advanced receiver, one of the best indicators that you have been mentally undermined by the threat is a strong confidence that you have not been. Now, the subconscious mm. mind is difficult to map, and systems of doubt can be built while you sleep in your unremembered dreams. Mm. Then, a, a seemingly um, innocuous cue can trigger a mental collapse. If you were truly free Fuck. of negative... <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. F. Alright, one more go. One more go.
how to know what tape was back there, I could hear the, the, the singing. The singing or the chanting tells you a tape is nearby. Otherwise, yeah, it would be almost impossible to find them. Especially when you don't start with the flashlight sometimes. That didn't hit the camera, huh? I doubt it's about that. Really? Are you fucking kidding me? Three rounds. Alright, fine. Take out the ammo thing. Let it squeeze off one more. Good enough. Bastard. Drop it, you know, of course. where it should be somewhere. It's not entirely obvious where. There. Corner. Mind tech is a system. Built into this system is the ability to grow. Oh, jeez, there's a second one up there. Excuse me? The threat is a similar system, grown unimaginably complex. Now, unlike the threat, our mind tech requires receivers to exist. The mind tech system exists to help receivers, but receivers also exist to help <laughs> Upon awakening, humans and mind tech, like the mind and the body, will become one. This is what the system was created for. Okay. To uplift you. Take advantage of it to Given enough time, reload. humans may have adapted on their own. They may have awakened without our intervention. Unfortunately, the threat has forced our hand. I don't want right under it. If you pull the trigger and it goes click when it should go bang, you might have a failure to feed malfunction. The magazine failed to feed the next round into the chamber. To solve this problem, you need to smack the magazine to make sure it's firmly in place and the rounds are oriented correctly. Then rack the slide and bang, shoot the target. Tap, rack, bang. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> uh, love it. Right. 
for it on the right. Yep. Nothing on the left. Drone on the outside. How the hell did that thing see me? close to PowerPoint mode again. I'll waste ammo on these guys if I don't have to. It's getting awful dangerous. Something up above. Now, can I get up there? Is the real question. No ladder. No ladder, no stairs. Well, hmm. Do something cheeky? Oh no, they got that blocked off. You bastards. <laughs> okay. No rush then. around from something. Whatever. Oh boy. Cute. 
expert there. Good for some ammo, I guess. Nope. Okay. Three bullets, nice. Oh, wow, knocked that dude all the way over in the corner. Shit. Oh, it's going PowerPointy, I think. Uh. How did he not eat shot? Not shot. There we go, thank you. <laughs> oh, good gravy. Okay. One right outside the window, are you kidding me? Woo! Doctor, oh shit! Right, come on, buddy. Come through that window or ain't you? Here he comes. Just wanted this guy to fucking really? Oh, uh, I wasn't fast enough to walk past that door, apparently. Alright, well. <laughs> we ranked up once. That's probably good enough for tonight, huh? Well, maybe we'll give it one more go. Although if it starts turning PowerPointy. Which it probably almost certainly will right now. Oh, or it'll just hard crash. Hey, all right. At least it waited. <laughs> At least it waited. That's very kind of it. Oh my god. Well, it was either PowerPoint mode or, or hard crash. Either way, we were going to have to restart. All right, one more go, and then we'll be done for tonight. This is getting kind of late. <sighs> I think we're at the right rank, right? Liminal, yeah. They make me bust out of the opening area. Quiet. I'm 
unlocked mag. direction? Yes, right? Oh, maybe not. Oh. Oh no, yeah, there's shattered windows and shit. I did come from this direction. I hesitated. I hesitated. I should have just gone right in, crouched under. Fick. Fick, fick, fick. Alright, one more go. With a revolver, I guess. Not the ideal setup. But it's what we got to deal with. Come on, buddy. Take your skin and get the fuck out. breaks through.
<laughs> the rivalry between Colt and Smith and Wesson is as Oof. old as time okay. itself. Uh, assuming that the universe was created in 1852. Now, Wesson was largely unknown at the time and still reeling from his brother's sudden death and the seizure of their gunsmithing tools by creditors. He partnered with Daniel Levitt to carefully work around Colt's patents to create a slightly different revolver based on his brother's ideas and had started to successfully rebuild his business when Sam Colt sensed a threat to his monopoly and drove Wesson back to bankruptcy with lawsuits and, and legal fees. But when Colt's patent ran out, Wesson came back with a vengeance, and the Smith and Wesson versus Colt revolver debate continues to this day. Even though the modern differences consist of whether the cylinder rotates clockwise or counterclockwise, and whether the cylinder release should be pulled or pushed. And ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and how they feel in the individual's hand. One's up in the corner that get me. Oof, not that time though. left. Awesome. Three? Three rounds left. Alright, that guy can live. Fine. Well, you don't need to run back there. Mother <laughs> Where in the hell... One last run of Deagle run, that's fine. That's fine and or cool. That actually gave us a reasonable amount of ammo to start, too. How kind. How kind. Now watch me just throw it right in the trash. Fucking what the hell? Oh my god. Both sides covered and pointing directly at me, you piece of shit. Alright, one more go. <laughs> uh, uh. We're serious since my drink is now empty.
bullet because I'm impatient. Okay, there's one up there. What in the bloody f fudge in hell? Snub nose. Snub nose it is. Snub nose it is. Okay. Okay. Oh shit 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 in the garage. <sighs> Call your mommy. Oh lord. Alright. She will know Look away. Uh, what to do. Look away. Please. Please. Don't go in the garage. It's... It's off limits. Love daddy. Something. I don't know what I hit on it though. There. <laughs> Just to make sure it's out. Turn over there too. Beautiful. It's probably one on the. Ooh, it's probably one on the opposite corner. Oof, oof, oof. It's hard to maintain when you're circling around it.
Ooh, no, he's right about there being a second one. Is there, one, is there a third one around the far corner? That would be something they would do to me. Blocked off this way too, so that was worthless besides the tiny bit of extra ammo. And of course the side has no elevator buttons. Supoib! Oh! that come from? Must be over in the corner somewhere, huh? Oh, yep, there it is. Another one probably in that room. Yep, there it is. Okay. <laughs> What's upstairs? Be upstairs. Evaporated. Where the fuck is the team? <laughs> All right, it's got to be inside somewhere. How the hell did I miss it? Oh, if you really want to be sure here. that a gun will fire when you pull the trigger, Phew. you need to do a press check. Make sure your finger is off the trigger and pull back the slide with your supporting hand. Okay. Uh, uh, calm down, John Wick. Just enough to see if there's a cartridge in the chamber. If there is, make sure the slide goes back into battery. This means the gun is ready. If not, you can just keep pulling the slide back all the way and then release it to strip around from the magazine. Then repeat the check in case your mag spring is damaged and failed to feed, or is fitted incorrectly. Well, shit. Oh, wait, there was a ladder up on that section, too. 
Probably the only thing I've got to get me somewhere else. The door's blocked. There's no safe way to... Well, is there a safe way to drop down? No. Okay. Must be the ladder then. Yeah. Why it just kind of jutted me forward there. It was scary. two of them. That's why. Fudge, 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 fudge. Oh my god. Okay, one threat taken care of. bullets in the corner. Eyeballed me there. Is there anything in there? No. Okay. Oh, what? The weep. Uh, okay, we're done. <laughs> one down the hallway, huh? Okay. Okay. Let's make sure we're back on the right rank before we end. Oh. Fuck, that scared me. That gave me a little... Gave me a little fright. But yeah, we're done. <laughs> we're done for the night. Um, next stream will be Wednesday night. 7pm CDT. 
Uh, we'll be back here with receiver two since we did make the most modest amount of progress we possibly could have by going up a rank. Maybe we'll make another rank next time. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Then after Wednesday, it'd be Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. CDT. That's Shmup Book Club, Parsec 47, Gate of Thunder, and, um, God, what can I never remember the last one? Sandvine. Sandvine, perhaps. Um, Sandvine, Sandvine. Uh, all fun games all around, but we'll probably start with Gate of Thunder since we couldn't, uh, we weren't able to play it uh, last week or the week before uh, for different reasons. Uh, then after that, let's see, we're off Friday. So Saturday, question mark PM CDT sometime in the early afternoon will be grab bag. And then Sunday night, next Sunday night, 7 p.m. CDT, we'll be back with long play on CrossCode because the new DLC is fun and cool. And they've got some story things to wrap up. So looking forward to that. But that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.